on anyone, uh, you know, just like your idea, is uh, extremely smart. And then you start educating these people, you know, because a lot of people are going to come into it new, and, and a lot of people don't know everything. I mean, it's kind of hard to know everything. It seems to me. And so and let me let me address that. You know, sure. we've got we've got farmers and ranchers out there that have been growing going broke across America for the last fifty years. We have two percent of uh, of of two percent of our population is now living on farms, and and the rest of them are corporate farms, which I think is the uh, ninth plank in the Communist Manifesto. Yeah. Can can you say Archer Daniels Midland or or Monsanto perhaps? Now. Yeah. And and this this is this makes it even worse. This is a, this uh, really strikes me as being a war on the American people when they're putting fluoride in your water, when they're they're feeding you genetically modified foods made out of corn that the rats won't eat and the pigs won't eat. What is that doing to us as a as a people? Well, exactly. Uh, and don't even get me started on Monsanto. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, John. No, I just I, did. I, I, I just really did. A, I really have a hard problem with that because uh, uh, genetically modified foods. And, uh, you know, it is killing off our honeybees. Uh, it's already been proven it kills off different butterfly species. And if it kills those kind of things, you know, what do you think it's going to do you? And you can't re redo the seeds on most cases. There's pesticides that are genetically imprinted in those seeds uh, that actually produce pesticides. Gee, that's something nice to eat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the prostate cancer is now, what, uh, four and five people? I mean, that's just a, a insane. It's frankenfood. It is. It exactly and, and is. And, and that's the way they're so that's the way they're murdering us. You know, we always wonder how well how how could they get away with killing sixty million white Russians? Why how could they get away with that? Why didn't nobody say anything? Well, how many people are being killed in America today by cancer every every day? And they're feeding us they're feeding us this poison, John. And the only way I can see to avoid that is by doing exactly what you've done and exactly what I'm talking about with Liberty Villages: grow your own food. Don't put the pesticides on it. Don't put the Roundup on it. There's other ways to deal with that. Could you address that? Do yeah. You? Well, it's just like uh, we don't use any pesticides uh, at all. We use bio, you know, just natural stuff uh, to get rid of things. Uh, certain flowers, insects don't like, and and so even down to uh, hydrogen peroxide is our bug zapper, you know, because uh, it fizzes. But there's a lot of different ways to do it without using pesticides. Uh, because when you use pesticides, for instance, you're killing the good bugs as well. So you're, you're really messing up the ecosystem. Uh, we use all heirloom seeds. Uh, and that way, you know, we know that those have been around for a long time. They're, they're nice and safe. We have good varieties. We collect all our own seed. Actually, a tremendous amount of seed. I'm a big believer in that. A lot of people save like from year to year, but I always want seven years worth or more of seed on hand because in some instances we have had to replant three times that year because of weather. And so we're real big on, on saving those seeds. And that's what everybody should do. You know, our, our daughter can go out and, and grab a cucumber or anything she wants right from the vine and start eating it. You know, there's there's nothing on it. Now, isn't that correct me here? If I uh, again, I maybe maybe I'm going off into left field here. Isn't that what the FDA is supposed to be doing instead of trying to put farmers out of business with S five ten? Shouldn't they be doing exactly. that? Shouldn't they be investigating Archer Daniels Midland and and? Uh, how about Tyson chicken? How about torturing chickens? I mean, you you gotta uh, if you torture a, a chicken, you gotta be getting some kind of bad stuff from the adrenaline or something, isn't it? Well, the FDA <laughs> is is there in place just to harass uh, the small to mid farmers. Uh, they're not actually in place to do the public any good. Uh, a 
lot of the research is totally incomplete or unfounded. Uh, when, like, for instance, uh, you know, these big corporations come in, they have done their own testing, they have their own scientists, they have their own lab, okay? They give the results to, to the FDA. The FDA might do a, a, a little tiny micro, you know, test or something, you know, okay, we tested on rats uh, for a day, yeah, it's good. And so, which is just insane because that's like uh, somebody going out and committing a murder and then being their own judge. <laughs> you know, it's like, wait a minute. And, and so, no, the FDA is just there to kind of harass the, the small guy more than anything. They're not actually there to, to do any good. <laughs> or they'd be investigating all these uh, big corporations. They'd be fo pulling all these frankenfoods off the market, uh, you know, genetically modified seeds. They, they'd be pulling, for instance, even uh, high fructose corn syrup. When you heat it up, it is, it is poisonous. They've already proven in many uh, case studies that it, it creates cancer in many different animals. So what do you think it does to people? Uh, if you heat up a high fructose corn syrup and you feed it to a hive of honeybees, they will literally die within a very short time. Okay, now, this would be happening if it was safe. And it's in all our pop, it's in most of, of the foods, the candies, I mean, it's just insane. So, why would they be pulling that stuff out? You know, if, if they've already been testing it, so to speak, and, and have shown this. And they're like, well, there's no real documentation on it. And it's like, oh, give me a break. <laughs> now, they've been trying to drive people into the cities, and this is uh, this plan is heating up with all this uh, uh, sustainable development with the Wildlands Project. Uh, uh, you, you, you can't go out here and build a farm. we got to keep this free so the jackrabbits can hop around. Yeah, just like the deserts and, and everything else, it's just land grabs. Uh, and they're probably just putting it into reserves to sell it off to some foreign country because their debt they're creating for us. Uh, but yeah, they're trying to push us all into the city. It's more control, easier to control. They don't want people to be self-sufficient and independent. Uh, no difference than them. They were raiding the Amish for for having raw milk. That's right. I, uh, I was just going to I was just going to re uh, <laughs> uh, bring that up. They, they, I mean, here's a guy that, that that milked his cow, drove it over to New York to give it to somebody that wanted what he had, because it was pure, because it wasn't hydrogenized or whatever the hell they do to it, and. and and they went in and raided his farm, took his cows away. They they tried to break him for taking uh, uh for what taking milk across the state line. Oh, I know, and and so they're really big on that. Well, you know, if I choose to drink or buy uh, raw milk, then it's my problem. You know, I mean, I don't like anybody telling me what I can and can't do. Uh, and so to me, that's just that's not right. Uh, they're just doing it to harass, basically, and. If, if you've ever made cheese, you can't go to the store, buy that homogenized milk, and try to make cheese. It just doesn't really work. Uh, you need that culture within that milk to assist in cheese making, for instance. And so who's to say that those people even bought that raw milk to, to drink it? They might have just wanted to make some good cheese. <laughs> this... This bill S five ten. Have you looked into that? Would uh, is that going to affect you at all? Refresh my memory. S five ten is the bill sponsored Monsanto that basically uh, uh, it's called the Food Safety Act. Oh, okay, okay. That Food Safety Act is is for starters the biggest joke in the world. They say it's not going to affect small farms, but there is so much hidden stuff in there <laughs> that what they want to do is, is basically stop the small farms. They want to stop the farmers markets. They want to restrict it to the point where you can't grow your own garden. You can't uh, sell or eat your own food. They want it to all come from corporations. And then there's all sorts of nice little hidden things in there. And so, like what you said at the beginning, uh, a little bit earlier in the show, 
you know, yeah, they're targeting the farmers. They want to stop any independent farmer.